Hi, this is David from Mash IT. Now I've just received in Western Digital's high-end SN850 PCIe Gen 4 SSD. Now I've picked this up in a two terabyte because this is going in my laptop. Now this is Western Digital's high-end Gen 4 SSD with read speeds up to 7,000 megabytes a second. That's right up there with the best SSDs out there at the moment. So let's quickly take a look at the drive. I've got the model without the heatsink because this is going in my laptop. You can also buy a version with a heatsink ready on this drive. Now being Gen 4, these do run reasonably hot, so you are gonna want a heatsink on these Gen 4 drives. Now obviously if it's gearing in a laptop, make sure you buy the version without the heatsink, because that is quite thick and you'll never fit it in a laptop. And also if it's going into your motherboard, very often your M.2 slots will already have an actual heatsink installed that you'll put on top of this drive anyway. So make sure you know whether you need that heatsink or not when you're buying this drive, because the heatsink version is quite a bit extra. Now, as I've bought this to go on my laptop, I've also bought myself just a, a cheap copper plate with just thermal adhesive, just to bring those temps down on this Gen 4 drive. And this, even this, which is only a few pounds or a few dollars, brings it down enough to make this sort of run at an acceptable temperature. Now, the drive itself has a sticker right over the top of the memory chips, but you can see that obviously you've got a fair few memory chips across the actual card itself, but they are all on the top of the card. There's absolutely nothing on the back of the SSD. Now that's great, especially if you're using it in a laptop, because some of them you don't have a lot of clearance underneath the actual SSD. And being all the chips are on the top, your heatsink is gonna cover all those SSD and take the actual heat away from it. Now installing this drive in your laptop or your computer is very easy. If you've already got the screw installed on your motherboard or laptop, make sure you remove your M.2 screw first. You slide your actual SSD into the M.2 slots, screw it down, and then screw your heatsink, or in my case, stick my heatsink on top of the actual SSD. And that's it, you're away. Boot back up into Windows. Now, because this is my secondary drive, I don't even need to actually reinstall Windows. All I'm going to do is boot back into Windows, and I'm gonna right click on my Windows Start menu, and I'm gonna choose Disk Management. And once I choose Disk Management, it automatically detects I've installed a new SSD in my system. You follow the prompts to prepare the SSD, and you give it a name, in my case, I'm just calling this Storage, and then you right click it and format it ready to be used in your system. So now that we're in Windows and you can see my secondary drives installed, I'm gonna quickly run Crystal Disk Mark, which actually tells me the sort of the speeds for this drive. And running it at five times, just to sort of get the temperatures up and just to really sort of put this drive through its paces, you can see it does actually hit its 7,000 megawatts a second read speed on this drive. And the write speed comes in at about 5,000. So these are some really impressive results and a nice boost over your older Gen 3 drives. Now temperatures do get reasonably high, but bear in mind this is in my laptop. If you're on a desktop, the temperatures will be much lower. I've only got a copper plate over the top of my drive, so it does bring the temperatures up a little bit more. But even then, with this copper plate on, the temperatures stay well below 80 degrees, so it's more than acceptable for a laptop, and it won't throttle at all at these temperatures. And also, being Western Digital, an established company, you actually get a five-year warranty on these premium products. So they've obviously got a lot of confidence in their drive if they're allowing you to have a five-year warranty on it. And it gives you peace of mind when you've got your data on these drives. So just to wrap this video up then, this is a fantastic little drive. The performance are exactly as they state. It is incredibly quick and it's actually not that expensive. It seems to be on par with your Samsung 980 Pros. And I have to be honest, I would prefer this over the Samsung just for the longer warranty. The speeds are great and it doesn't get that hot. So this is a fantastic little drive if you're looking for the absolute maximum performance you can squeeze out of your computer or your laptop. Thanks for watching.